Hi everybody, welcome back to my grow room. So today we are actually going to butcher the whole garden. I'm going to get rid of this poor looking <laughs> tomato plant. It's not doing that well. It's well, it hasn't been watered for a couple of days now. So yeah, it, uh, it just falls apart. So I just picked off some ripe tomatoes. Yeah, <laughs> I got a full bunch of these and Mm. They taste just fantastic. These are the Praxis cherries. Um, Raymond Browning over at Praxis 55712 channel, he, he grew these for many, many years and he gave the seeds away. And a friend of mine, a uh, friend of mine, the urban gardener, um, Enoch, he's, he's been growing them since he got the seeds from Ray and he sent me a few seeds and this is a result of that and they just taste phenomenal. So I have a couple of these started already for this summer season. So my plans for this plant is to just cut it way down and see if I can grow it back up because um, it's been growing like mad. But I, I've been starting to get some weird curly leaves on top and it's been staying here the whole time underneath the heating pump. And it's been just fried in 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 the the pump here. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna cut it down. And also, I have a few of these friends. These are eggplants, and they've been producing a few eggplants. I just recently, <laughs> I just picked off three eggplants from the one behind me. They're not fully ripe and definitely not ready. So, but I'm, I'm just going to get rid of, uh, well, not get rid of them. I have a plan. So what I'm going to do is to just cut them down. I'm going to try to, uh, to uh, root the cuttings. I'm going to stick them in some soil and uh, some of them I'm going to try to have in water. And I'm guessing that I'm going to get two plants from each of the plants. So I have three plants. So that's six, uh, six separate plants. And my idea is to cut them down and I know these will, it's just going to do them good. So when I cut them down, they will just grow back up and it will actually <laughs> uh, hopefully give some light back to the cucumber that's growing behind. And um, the reason why I'm doing this also is that I'm not going to start new eggplants from seeds to get out into the greenhouse this summer. I'm actually just going to try to root these cuttings and see if I can keep them alive until it's time to, to um, get the plants outside into the new greenhouse. So hopefully that's something that is going to work out. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> it's, it's as bad as it looks. So my idea is to just trim them down. And yeah, look at this poor thing. <laughs> Uh, it, it will grow back. It will grow back. So the idea for me is to, I'm going to just prune it a little bit just to see if I can get it to a point where I think it's going to be. Mm, <laughs> okay. So I am going to prune it right there and I don't need too many leaves on this. So I just cut the top of it, but that's not a problem because it has growing tips all over here. So it's probably gonna grow back from one of these. I'm just gonna pinch off some of the growth that has started. And I just set up a few pots like this. And this, it's what I'm gonna try. And I think this will work. I'm going to try to root them directly into soil like this. And I'm also going to use, uh, where did I put it? I have this red solo cups that you see all around here normally. And I'm just going to put the other one, this one, into a cup of water. And just see if I can, can get it to grow from just uh, rooting in water. And I think that's going to be just fine. And hopefully I'm able to get a few cuttings that will root and I don't have to 
waste any more seeds on putting them in in ground now and wait all the way from from the seed stage so hopefully it will buy me some time and like this or something and i could also do this with the um, tomato also because i've been rooting it in water or directly into soil many times and it works perfect all the time but um yeah i don't really need that oh uh, yeah I'm, I'm using this fine um uh, i don't know what's it called even these ones <laughs> they're just hanging from the ceiling because this will be just too wimpy if they just try to hold their own weight and and especially when they get fruits they are way too heavy so they just fall off or fall all the time yeah and i just broke this one but um this is probably gonna be to the best for this plant and it already has a few growing tips starting on the bottom there and yeah I should have prepared a little bit better for this. I'll be careful not to hang myself here. <laughs> like this. <laughs> and this is how you make compost. So we just have a couple more. And I have to say that this actually hurts me a little bit just because i've been growing this for a while now and there is so many fruits forming on this i don't know if i these are supposed to be white and they are delicious we've used several of these and i'm hoping that these are uh, big enough so they won't taste just bitter if you if you ever tasted one of these when it's not finished growing oh man that's yeah that is not good at all. Wow. <laughs> this is a fantastically large and it has, I don't know, I can maybe just cut it off like this. And if you see underneath, it has new ones forming everywhere and they are just closing in on the fruit and there's a few more up here also. This is the, the plant that was growing on the right side here. And that's the one that has been producing a lot of fruit. The one on the back hasn't set a, a single fruit yet. So, but it's been partly shaded by this monster. And I'm thinking that's the main reason for it, but I'm, I'm not sure. And I'm really not caring too much about that. These are gonna be rooted later. I'm gonna stick them into soil, but I just want, wow. <laughs> it's so much lighter here now <laughs> because this, these plants are phenomenally huge. I actually didn't know that I was able to grow eggplants to this size indoors. And it just shows that if you have enough lighting, everything is possible. So yeah. But if we look closer here, we have a new friend. I don't know if you can see it from all over there. Mm, probably. This is a cucumber. <laughs> and I, I, I got the idea of cutting it way back. And um, I was just looking underneath to, to check what it was doing underneath here. And to see where I could prune them and, and everything. And suddenly I, <laughs> I just spotted this uh, cucumber growing in the back here. And... There's actually a few more forming along the trellis here. So now it's time for, we've had the time of the eggplants now, and I really think it's time to get some cucumbers in there and you can see the plant, it, it, it looks horrible. It's, it's wimpy and the leaves, some of the leaves are, are looking nice, but most of them are dying off and it, it doesn't look too good, but it hasn't been getting light at all because of these monsters. So yeah. I'm really excited to see now if we can actually grow a few of the cucumbers to full size. And I, I really don't remember the names for these, but this is called the uh, uh, Telegraph Improved. 
This is supposed to be a, a really, really old English heirloom, I think. Um, I have cheat codes here, so I can see everything. And the other one is an early fortune. And pff, yeah, the early fortune is supposed to be a, more like a, a pickling cucumber, I think. And the other one is supposed to be a really long, thin cucumber. And I got some wandering juice just, <laughs> I, you know, I had this enormous wandering Jew going everywhere here. And I set it up on my desk right behind you where I do some of my shooting. And um, one day I just heard a crack and <laughs> the whole plant just snapped and fell down. So it broke off just by the root. So I just have a ton of plant and nowhere to go. So. I just started taking cuttings and sticking it everywhere and this is actually one of them and it's starting to, to do fantastic now. And I got uh, the rest of it, I just threw it in the compost because I have this huge compost bin that I use inside here for everything that I, um, everything that I prune because I really like to, to get the most out of it. So when it's finished growing here, it's going to be compost. But I threw all the, the wandering Jew in there and it started growing like mad and it, everything rooted. So now my compost is just a, a big pile of, of uh, wandering Jew. So I have uh, cuttings for the whole village here. So. <laughs> so that's that. But anyway, I just stuck a few in here. This is actually a good thing for the garden. And I think these stocks, they are crazy sturdy and they're really really big and it will it will help me to, to just concentrate the lights on the cucumbers and I will also put some pots in here because I have everything that I'm going to have in the new greenhouse is started now and it's to the right of you there and it's in these kind of solo cups like this and I'm running out of space and light so it's nice to be able to just stick a few here and there and uh, just take advantage of the whole area. So yeah, I, uh, yeah, I think that's it for, for this one. It's, uh, it's um, not a very organized episode, but I just needed to prune these and I just wanted to brag and show them off before I cut them down. <laughs> no, really, it's, it's not a, a matter of bragging. It's just that I think I finally figured out how to grow these eggplants. I've been trying it for a couple of years indoors and I don't know why it's always been my white whale. And um, I've been getting a few, uh, a few of these plants to grow to a decent size before, but um, it never set any good fruit for me. And um, I just wanted to, to really tackle this thing and I, I just think they're a phenomenally nice looking plant. I just love the foliage. I, I think it's pretty and, and the flowers are also really, really pretty. But it's, it's, it's a waste growing these indoors, I would say, because the amount of fruits that you will get from these plants, you're, you're much better off growing um, some chilies or yeah, like tomatoes, because this, uh, the, the tomatoes that I picked here, these are not all the tomatoes. I've been eating tomatoes every, every evening. I come up here into the garden and watering and everything. And I always eat one or two tomatoes every single day. So I've been doing this since, uh, since Christmas, I think. And it's constantly producing. It's constantly producing tomatoes. So these are just the ones that I haven't gotten around to eat. So yeah, grow, uh, grow tomatoes. I think you're better off than growing eggplants because eggplants, they take too much space and they're really, mostly for the show. You get a few eggplants, but uh, yeah, the amount of light that you have to put into these plants, you're, yeah. you're better off growing a banana, which is bending on the roof. Should, I'm, I'm just curious if somebody would be interested in me making a episode just, just on the banana, because the banana is, it's getting out of hand now and I've been really perfecting the way to grow this thing and I think I got some really good points to, to give out if you ever want to grow a banana indoors. And I might consider doing a full episode like a banana special or something if that's something that you would like to see. Just give me a thumbs up or just comment down below if, if that's something that you would like to see. I'm just going to leave you on a sadder note garden wise. Um, 
Yeah, uh, a, f a, f a couple of weeks back we had a, a, just an enormous amount of snow coming in here. I think we got almost four feet of snow and that's, that's very much even for this area. So I kind of had an avalanche or I would say the snow from the roof of the house that we have the neighboring house that we have where I put the, the small greenhouse outdoors, the glass greenhouse. And I had a little bit of an incident and uh, I'm going to leave you with this. This is Christopher saying, may the force be with you. And what I saw when I came outdoors made me just go like, no, God, no, God, please, no, no, no. No! And I almost forgot to mention <laughs> who won the seeds for the lemon basil. So I just did a random pick from the last uh, YouTube video and Josh won. So please Josh, just send me a private message on YouTube or Facebook with your address and I'll have those shipped to you as soon as possible.